the obvious question is from the observer, what inspired you to paint this painting? I can't really pin down a specific inspiration for any particular work in my work, uh, more especially right now, because I'm in a process of changing how I used to paint. There was a time before 2016 where I had a specific style that I explored playing a lot with negative space. At some point, it felt so, I felt so comfortable. It felt like a, a routine doing that style and it started feeling like a, 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 an annoying burden. So I've decided to move on and try to change. And I always uh, respond to my immediate uh, uh, surrounding. So my work is basically inspired by that kind of general uh, phenomenon, particularly the townships, black townships where I come from. So my work is really inspired by human condition in particular. And because human condition keeps changing, more especially now, after 2020, which was a hectic year, and I always feel like now is a time of urgency for everyone. Everyone is uh, feeling uh, caught up because I feel like 2020 has kind of squeezed the gap of 25 years. I think the level of conditions that we're dealing with now on normal circumstances could have taken a period of 25 years, but 2020 squeezed that 25 to 21 year period into one year and we're all haphazardly, you know, dealing with this situation that we're not ready with. Uh, the painting behind me kind of responds to some of those aspects that I observe around myself. The title of the two paintings behind me are Talking Heads. The models are people that I know, the people that I live with. And I am pushing the, the models, expressing with color, gestural brush strokes that overlap to a point that faces are totally distorted and are not recognizable because the point is for them to lose their individual identity and become anonymous. Because at, at some point after 2020, I feel like we're all anonymous with wearing of masks. So it's partly grappling with that kind of feeling that we have every day where we can't, there's no individualism that comes forward in everybody that you come across in the streets. As I've mentioned, uh, uh, passing 2020, how things have changed and how the behavior of pe people have become er erratic and disparate at some point. Uh, I've been look, you know, uh, I'm an observer from where I, see, I, I sit or where I live. So I looked at these, the conditions, at the attitudes, at the, uh, how people approach life following the 2020. So the painting is how I feel. But it's not directly what I see, but this is how I see it, you know. I paint things like how I see them, also given the fact that I'm also a poet and my poems are not also direct about what is happening, but how I feel about what is happening, which is my main intention when I'm expressing myself about things that I see, is to capture the feeling rather than you know, the physical. So this painting, you see some folks gathered around the table and it's mainly men that are gathered around the table and on the table there's all sorts of meats. You know, it's up to you what you make out about what is happening really in specific because also I do want to allow a little bit of open interpretation for the observer. So in this painting, it's more about who sits on the table and who gets to be in the menu and be eaten in particular. But the whole uh, uh, narrative and interpretation will really depend on the observer.